Ndu, who's the Kenya editor of Africa Check. It's good to see you. Thank you, Yvonne. Yeah, it's been a great week. Manifesto after Manifesto, Jubilee launched theirs, then NASA, then Third Way Alliance, uh, Kenya launched theirs uh, yesterday, I believe. So, first off, we're going to take a look at uh, the Jubilee Manifesto. They said a lot of things. We picked just one. Of course, there's more, and we'll tell you where to find them at the end of this one. Okay, so um, this is what one of the claims that was made in the Jubilee Manifesto, which is that, and I quote, the ratio of police officer to Kenyan citizen has improved from 1 to 500 to 1 to 400, a higher threshold than the UN benchmark of one officer for every 450 citizens. So we're going to break this down bit by bit. There's a lot of things in this statement, this ratio, the UN, and there's quite a bit uh, to get into. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, so then let's break this down a little bit more. First of all, it means we go back to 2013, which you will see um, on the next uh, image that we're going to show you. In that 2013 manifesto, and I checked, I believe it's page 16, mm -hmm. if not 12, one of those. It's page 16, I think, where they talked about this ratio. This is the ratio they claim to have inherited. Yes. One policeman to 1,150. Mm -hmm. Promised to lower this rate to 1 to 800 in its first term. So this is interesting because um, the 2017 manifesto claims a totally different ratio, yes? Yes. The Jubilee, um, in the 2017 manifesto that they released last week, they now claim that they inherited a police ratio of 1 to 500. So which is it? 1 to 1,150 or 1 to 500? So there is, um, you know, the interesting bit. And maybe here you can uh, come in and talk to us about this when you are uh, checking out this claim. So this is an interesting one, yes? Yes. 2013, they claimed they inherited one, one ratio, 1,000 to 1, one. 150. Yes. And then in 2017, they claim, no, in fact, the ratio was, in fact, Wha 1 to 500. 500. Okay. Yes, this, is, this is something we have checked for quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And every time the statement is made, we point people to our report uh, of what we have done on this police ratio. Police yeah. ratio. Yeah. We've looked at the numbers mm -hmm. and the ratio that they inherited, given the numbers that we have seen from the National Police Service Commission, mm -hmm. the president himself and uh -huh. the inspector general, they inherited a ratio of 1 to 992 police yes. officers. Yes, and, and we have that next yes. one here because you also got that data from the National Bureau of Statistics, Yes. right? Yes. Which put uh, the number of police officers, and we'll get to that, at around 42,000. Here we go. This is yes. actually from the National Bureau of Statistics. Yes, in figures 2013. drawn from the Kenya Police Service. From the Kenya Police Service, yes. which said that the police officers in 2013, when Jubilee came to power, was 42,145. Yes. And the population was 41.8. Uh -huh. uh, the thing to note here is that we are talking regular police officers. Uh -huh. We are not talking the whole spectrum of police officers as defined by the National Police Service Act, which would include police reservists, uh -huh. administration police officers, uh -huh. and the DC, uh, DCI and uh, regular police. Okay. So we're just doing the so regular police. So the definition police. is yes. important. Yes. Tell us why the definition of which police officers to the population ratio is important, even as we take a look at it here on our Super Bowl. All right, the UN Office of Drugs and Crimes, mm -hmm. when they are doing this ratio for comparison purposes, yeah. they usually say that these are people, the police officers to be included in this, are people who deal with prevention, detection, investigation of crime, and apprehension of alleged offenders. And in Kenya, that would be who? That would be the regular police. I see. Yes. Uh, the, the sense we got from the experts within the policing circles was that when uh, an administration police or a reservist uh, arrests a person, mm -hmm. they have to hand them over to the Kenya police in, in the gazetted police stations. Uh -huh. And if the APs or, uh, are, are to do the policing work uh -huh. that ends up with prosecution yes. and the investigation, they have to do a course. They call it conversion. I see. So that they, they, they go it into the mentality of the what the, poli regular the regular police, police officers do. are taught in Kiganjo. I see. Yes. So that definition is important, especially when you're looking at all of these ratios. So then when you take a look at the numbers, which we uh, will see next then. So let's talk about these numbers in 2016 so that we can now get that ratio and what it really is. Yes, the figures from the National Police Service Commission and the Kenya Police Service show that in 20, 
2016, mm -hmm. we had 53,844 police officers mm -hmm. in service. Right. And then we, in, in March this year, 2017, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there were three passing out parades, but we just focus on two, uh -huh. which is the, <laughs> the GSU and yes. the regular police, right. where 5,971 officers graduated. Okay. So the total becomes 59,815, uh -huh. 59,815 okay. officers. Uh -huh. So if you divide that by the population estimate mm -hmm. of 2016, mm -hmm which is 45.4 million, mm -hmm. you get a ratio of 1 to 759. So one police officer serving 759 people. Okay. So uh, the, the thing to note here is the Jubilee administration's 2013 promise mm -hmm. was that they were going to lower the policing uh, ratio from 1,150. To one police officer serving 800 people. Right. If they stuck to that, the numbers show they have met that ratio. Uh -huh. uh, they have met that promise. But then they but then revised that they, in 2017. They have, they have yeah. shifted the goalposts, mm -hmm. and it's not supported by the numbers. Okay. Yes. So that's why you see they are now saying that one police officer is serving 400 people. Uh -huh. The presumption is that you are much safer than. You than, were. You, than you were, what, four and a half years four and ago? A half years yeah, ago. but the numbers are interesting because they talk about what they inherited in 2013, yes. but then change that in the 2017 manifesto and say that in fact they inherited a much better ratio than they did in 2013. Yes. yes. So some conflicting there, some conflicts yeah. there with, yes. with the numbers. Yes, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 not, it's not supported by the evidence that okay. we reviewed. All right. So yes. therefore, the verdict tonight is... The verdict tonight... Uh, before we before get to we this. Get to yeah. <laughs> to the verdict tonight, mm -hmm. we, 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 we rated this as incorrect. Okay. Yes, All right. it's incorrect. Now, so incorrect. But if we can go back to the first one, they talk about, and we've always mentioned this UN benchmark that says the optimum police to population ratio should be 1 to 450. And we cite it all the time. Jubilee will not be the first, certainly not the last. Here it is. And they say they met that threshold that has been set by the UN, that benchmark of one officer for every 450 citizens. I'm guilty of this as well. I have always believed there's a UN benchmark for police to population ratio that they have set. Is this in fact true? There is, is there a benchmark? <laughs> Does it exist? Can the, the UN give a benchmark for every country in the world? The people who have studied uh, policing mm -hmm. and the people who are familiar with UN uh, regulations and, code, uh, and the codes of policing, uh, we asked most of them the source of this ratio and we also asked the UN the source of this ratio. Right. And most of the experts told us that it would be silly for anyone to recommend a policing ratio for the whole, for, 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 for every country that will fit world. every country. Right. Because there they, they are things to do with deployment, mm -hmm. how training is done, the resources available, mm -hmm. and the uniqueness of, of the policing in different, in different areas, the security challenges in different areas. So they told us there is no unique ratio. And so far, as Africa Check, we have not found any evidence that the UN sat down and resolved that <laughs> once you hit one police officer to 450, uh -huh. then that is great. And the next thing we did was to check with the, with the, with, with the Af uh, what are these people called? Uh, Orolsi? Yes. They, they, they are the people who do policing at mm -hmm. the UN. Mm -hmm. And they told us that if, if you look at the way the UN ratio is, mm -hmm. The, the whole uh, spectrum of getting police officers yeah. and dividing it by the population, mm -hmm. you must be very clear mm. on, what you, uh, on what you are trying to do. So uh -huh. if you're comparing country and country, yeah. That is fine. Yeah. You, uh, a ratio would make sense. Okay. But if you're not, if, if, if you, you have if you, one if you're saying standard, that this is a ratio and uh -huh. we have met it, yeah. and therefore you were safer, yeah. the numbers of the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics show that it is a bit, uh, the crime has gone up since 2013. And in 2016 alone, mm -hmm. uh, from 2015 to 2016, there was a jump of uh, about 4,000 new cases of crime. Okay. So if we have met the ratio, we, the presumption is we are safer. We are safer. Okay. But, and that uh, is not necessarily... That is not necessarily Doesn't necessarily true. follow. Okay. Yes. 
<laughs> Thank you for this one. I think I'm guilty as well. Uh, as, okay, as for, a just for, for the information is yes. that uh, uh, the, the ratio, the, the literature we have looked at is that it's stressed back to, 20, uh, to 1945. Yes, after World War II. After World War II, uh -huh. when the stabilization force was in Germany and it worked to 222,000 officers for every 100,000 people. Yeah. So when you divide that, you get that ratio of that one to one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's been a number of years. It's been repeated and repeated. Absolutely. And it's now okay, so yes. some great stuff. Thank you for that. That verdict we found today to be incorrect from the Jubilee Manifesto, but also a point to note that there's a host of other claims that have been fact-checked by Africa Check and Shundu, and you can find them africacheck.org. You can also go to the Twitter handle at Africa Check and at Shundu, posting a number of them. It's not just this one. It's yes, the claims we've, on we've energy. We've also looked at energy, yeah. how, much, uh, how much power in yes. megawatts they have added to the national uh -huh. grid. They also made a claim about the proportion of clean energy there you that go. they have added uh, to the grid since yeah. 2013. And they, are, they also uh, made a mention of how many schools mm -hmm. they found to have, to have connected to, to, to have the connected electricity to power. grid. Okay, and so we have all, all that. that data. Yes. And we it's have already on Africa Check right now, so go online uh, and make sure you catch that. And also, a point to note next week, we're fact checking NASA. All right, and that manifesto uh, that came out. Thank you very much, Alphonse Shundu. He's the Kenya editor for Africa Check. We'll do this again uh, next Sunday. And speaking of NASA and their manifesto, we've got David D. He's here with us. We'll be talking more about that manifesto that was launched with just 36 days to go to the general election on the 8th of August. 